started too. Okay, well, um, first off, I want to say congratulations oh, thanks. on the album that's out, that's coming out. Uh, we're we're super excited about it. It's uh, been a long time coming for us. So. Yeah. And so, tell me a little bit about it. Can you uh, so, uh, the record is called SOAR, mm -hmm. it's an acronym for Suffer, Overcome, and Recover, and uh, it's, um, it's our debut release with Razor and Tie, which is great. We're going to be hearing some of that tonight? Uh, yeah, we're going to play a couple songs off of it. Yeah? Uh, Can you leak which ones? Uh, we're going to play a song called SOAR, which is the title track from the record, and uh, we're also going to play a song called Save Yourself. Awesome. And uh, possibly another song called The Bottom. The Bottom. We'll see. I am so looking forward to it. Now, who did a lot of the writing for it? Uh, Joey and I wrote this uh, record together. And uh, actually, here he comes now. Ah, <laughs> lovely. Hello. Hi, what's up? Hi, what's going on, man? Yeah, how you doing? Good, I'm Terry from Keeper Magazine. Joey, nice to meet you. Hey, Mike. Mike, good to meet you, man. Hi, nice Susan, helping me out here. Right on. So tell me, are you stoked about the new album? Yeah, absolutely, it's the greatest thing we've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. I can't Better wait. than your first? Uh, not. It's you know, it's like children. You just you don't compare them. You just celebrate the differences. Yeah. <laughs> and I really love the new record. Awesome. Now, who came up with the name for the album? Uh, we worked on it together. It's kind yeah. of the vibe we do. But that's Joey definitely came up with. Uh, I like record. words. <laughs> like words. <So. laughs> now, who did the songwriting? Was it a whole combination of uh, everyone, or just a couple uh, of just guys? Just Blake and I. Uh, yeah. Joey and I working together, long, long hours, in yelling the at each other. So. Bar. <laughs> <laughs> now, is there a song that you guys have that you would consider from the album that's like close to your heart? Every single one of them. Yeah. Are, are very personal. Really? Uh, and they they span the spectrum of our struggles as friends and putting together something creative to uh, the personal issues of, of whether or not you're going to try to bring yourself out of the proverbial shit and um, and what happens when you die? Because yeah. no one knows and you have some questions. Right. So all, all over the place. Now, how do you feel this album is compared to the first one? I did ask it kind of vaguely earlier. Um, I think that uh, sonically, totally, yeah, is that's the biggest uh, gap between our previous record. We did that record ourselves. We're very proud of it. Um, but this time, we were able to to uh, to make a record with a guy who has made our favorite records tonally. Mm -hmm. uh, bands like uh, Breaking Benjamin. Uh, yeah, Fair Mori, great band. Uh, Motionless in White, Lamb of God. He's <coughs> very he's, well known. He knows what he's doing, and for us to be able to take a step back and just be artists during that process was was amazing. And your thoughts on it, besides just considering it as children? Oh, uh, you know, I think that it is. It's going to be what people remember about Devour the Dicks. From yeah. my opinion, I think this is when we turn the corner uh, to be a, a A level band um, and a household name. A real band. Uh, <laughs> real band. Yeah, I think I think this is this is gonna be the band this is gonna be the record that people remember us for. I feel very, very strongly about it. That's what a lot of people want. Now you're on tour with Ollie Remains and the new guys, Sons of Texas. Good guys. Yes. An audio topsy. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. How you guys feel the tour's been going for you folks? So far it's been awesome. Um, we've made friends with our label mates, Sons of Texas, mm -hmm. which is um, <coughs> important because you're on the road with bands for, you know, I mean we're going to be with them until uh, the end of December. Yeah, and so it's nice to know that we, we've got some friends out here and uh, uh, they're such a good band and we seem to get along really well. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good yeah. tour. Now, do you guys have a favorite venue you guys have performed at recently? Ooh, you know, it's a place with a coffee shop at the top. place with a coffee shop at the top. Coffee's very at the top of the hill. We played with all those, uh, those like so many bands at the last time. I can't remember. My favorite are the, oh. the old extravagant theaters with this, this 
crazy high ceilings. And where the, were we? The mason work and just like the old theaters are the ones that you know, that inspire me. Yeah. Those are always awesome. Where that I guess it was you know erected so long ago that they put so much detail into every single piece of wood that makes up that building, and uh, it seems like it's haunted. It's huge. Really? Uh, those those kinds of.